Carpe Seuss. I went hunting up in North Texas. I like to start off each of my hunts with sending a picture of myself off to my wife, sort of a proof of life photograph. Oftentimes with my hunting buddies that are with me. In this case, it's a group of cattle that followed me around during the course of this first hunt. As it had rained earlier in the day and the field was quite muddy in places, I'd made my initial survey of the property without carrying my rifle and other gear. Went back to my truck after spotting the hogs, grabbed my rifle and shooting sticks, headed out along with 25 or 30 of my close cattle friends to go after these hogs. Now we're in one pasture and the hogs are in the next pasture. And the cattle and I are trying to figure out what the hogs are going to do. If they're going to come on forward to where I am, if they're going to go ahead and leave. You know, we're just watching them at this point, hanging out, trying to decide what we want to do with, with taking a shot here or maybe trying to get across the fences without disturbing the hogs. Now I've got sunset behind me, but of course the cattle are behind me as well, and they're actually helping hide my silhouette in the sunset. And while I'm trying to decide what to do with the hogs, maybe shoot one off in the distance, and then come back and shoot the close one, or maybe shoot the close one and hope that the ones in the distance don't run first, I don't know, but the cattle at this point are nudging on me, and I'm trying to shoo them away with my hands so they can get lined up for the shot. I decide that my best course of action is going to be to shoot the hog that is up close and then hope that the hogs in the distance don't run. So that's what I'm going to do here. Well, of course, the hogs in the distance do run. I hit this sow with the second shot and she starts running in circles, which makes her a very difficult target. And then she ducks down into the pond area safe from being shot and all the other hogs but this one disappear on me I hit it with that shot and I miss with the second and it disappears over the ridge as well and no more hogs are to be seen so I immediately turn around this is a picture of my hunting buddies just after the shooting we recovered one 155 pound boar Shot about 65 yards. The sow that ducked down in the pond, we found several points of blood sign around the pond, but she managed to make it to the next property. A little bit later in the evening, I came across this lone boar. I was able to get over the fence and stalked out about 200 yards or so. and figured that was gonna be close enough for me to take my shot. And I decided to wait because the hog is actually coming towards me. And this is in a field that I'd hunted previously that has a locked gate and I'm going to have to drag this hog out. So the closer that it comes, the better. So I'm just going to let it close the distance until I think it's close enough. And it's now close enough. Just like that, it goes down with a shot right next to the left eye. I had just walked up on this hog when I spied a coyote from the distance. The wind is blowing towards me and I try lip squeaking into the wind, which doesn't seem to be working, so I increased the volume of the squeak. And the coyote took notice. The coyote's in a low spot. It's going to come up out of this low spot, stop and try to figure out what's going on with the lip squeaking. And here where it stops, I drop her. So here's a picture of the hog's eye where the shot entered just behind the left eye. Here's a picture of the exit wound on the coyote and the two animals together. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal. Pew! Pew!